This is Andy too, and in this video I'm going to be uh, replacing this uh, Singer Featherweight original uh, style motor belt with a new super belt from the Featherweight shop. Uh, this belt was on the machine when I got it, and you could see it was sitting there on under tension for a long time. <laughs> now it's it's safe. It's it's not real bad, but it already has a a defect here. So I just thought I would uh, go ahead and replace it. And I started looking around at belts and heard of this one. And they have a uh, video, a couple videos about it at the featherweight shop. So if you want to see how the professionals install. A belt. Uh, I'll put a link to a video at the end of the video to to the featherweight shop installation video and I'll put a link in the description below to their website where you can buy this for ten dollars and ninety five cents if you so desire. Um, it's It's kind of a it was unusual belt for me. I've never seen one quite like it. It is V-shaped and it does uh, stretch a little bit and it feels like some kind of a, I, I don't know, rubber um, composite. It, it's sturdy and let me take their little piece of Rick Rack. They seem to put on all their products here and it's it's marked right in here FW Super Belt 194144 is kind of etched onto the belt. But uh, I heard so much about the featherweight shop and so forth, so I just said, hey, that, that's as good as anything else, and the price was as good as anything else for, for an older style, uh, uh, what, I, what I call a tire <laughs> tire tread belt and uh, for me I'm just going to put it onto the pulley of the motor right there I have uh, loosened the motor mounting screw so that this can be adjusted up and down and uh, I'm just going to wrap it up around the hand wheel and slip it on. Now I, I know from other machines and and of course this machine that you want to be sure that the belt gets down into the V section of the hand wheel. Uh, there's a kind of a ridge up here and then you get into the V section in the middle and there's a smaller ridge on the other side. So you don't want to let uh, any belt that you put on get get caught up on this uh, ledge when you go to you know when you go to adjust the tension on the belt. You don't want it riding up on that ridge. You want to be sure it sits down in the valley so to speak. Okay? So that's how easy that goes on because it stretches a little bit. And uh, I'm going to, let's see, put this in uh, bobbin winding mode. And I'm going to hook some power up to it here and run it. And they talked about this in their video. And if you saw, I did an earlier video about removing and replacing replacing the belt on this machine when I took the motor off. I'm just going to hook some power up here to pin 2 and 3 which is where the motor terminates. Put a little divider in there so my clips don't touch and short out. And I, I just have a uh, push push on and off uh, you know like dimmer switch where I can you know control the speed
speed right so what we want to do is I'm going to give it full power and we want to make it so the motor runs at its best speed you know we don't if you can hear the RPM drop down as I push the motor down and put more tension on the belt you hear it come down a little bit in speed and I think it was Harlan on my motor belt video said he had tried this belt and he said you, you have to have the motor up as high as it will go which I'm also finding I have the screw loose and I'm lifting the motor up and anything other than as high as it'll go uh, does drop the RPM so I'm thinking that that's to allow for the future stretch of the belt I notice a lot of the regular V belts I, I have bought over the years it's like boy they just barely they so I'm lifting up the motor here <laughs> to get the highest speed I find a lot of the new V belts are very tight fitting on the machine and that you can just kind of barely get them on and I really just think that's so the future stretching. The materials they make in the belts out of tend to, to last many years and uh, I don't see this one drying out as much. They had some machines that this belt slips on the slips on the hand wheel and they recommend a little bit of cornstarch on the belt but you'll see if you go to the video I'm happy with my motor that I restored huh So let me just go ahead and put this into sewing mode and uh, make sure my pressure foot's up. You know, it's only a 0.4 amp motor, so. but I think that will do me well. What say you? Hmm? It looks good. And you can see how easy it was for me to slip on. I kind of did it the opposite that they do in their video. They show uh, putting it on the hand wheel first and then around the motor pulley. But I, I did it this way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> One of my shorter videos. Thanks for tuning in to see that. I'm happy to get the machine uh, working along well now. I'm going to start working on the tension. Coming close to getting Lala to the point that hopefully I can get her to sew. Take care. Thanks for watching.